What's up? Mortgage Rate Tuesday this week. I uh, hope everyone had a good holiday weekend. I myself sound like I'm going through puberty, so that's pretty fun. But uh, mortgage rates this week, today is September 6th. I think it's September 6th. Yep. And, um, you know, I said last week rates, there's a good chance rates could get up over into the sixes again, and they, you know, kind of blew right by that. 30-year fixed on average is around six and a quarter. Everything else is kind of around five and a half, you know, give or take here, here and there a little bit. But, um, you know, a couple reasons for that, even though we've seen some inflation numbers start to reverse, which you think would be better, rates are still going up. Um, a small piece of it is, you know, inflation's pretty bad overseas and you've seen a lot of, you know, overseas banks raising their rates. Um, so that has a little bit to do with it. The bigger thing is a couple of weeks ago, I think I talked about quantitative easing and quantitative tightening. If you didn't see that video, what that means is when COVID started, to stimulate the economy, the Federal Reserve started buying bonds, specifically mortgage-backed securities, because those are the biggest determinant of your mortgage rate. And uh, they were buying $40 billion worth of those a month. And so what, how the bond market works, or those, that market specifically, the, when you buy bonds, you're reducing the supply. Supply goes down, the price of the bond goes up. Your mortgage rate is inversely related to the price of that bond. So when that price goes up, mortgage rates go down. Once the Fed switched policy from controlling the recession that they thought was gonna happen to now trying to reverse inflation, what they're doing is they're selling back all of those bonds that they bought during that time. Um, not quite as fast as they were buying them, but still you know, noticeably, obviously, what's happening with rates right now. So they're putting supply back into the marketplace, which is driving down the price of the bonds, which is driving up rates. The last piece, at least early this week, was there's a lot of corporate bonds that got issued this week. So what that means is when a corporation like a Walmart or Target or whoever needs to raise money, they can either issue stock, which is kind of expensive because now they're giving up equity. They could get a loan from a bank, which bank rates are going up, so that's not a really good option either. Or you can issue bonds, which actually usually work out better for them because it's a little bit cheaper for them to get out. And they can also, they have more freedom with what how they can structure them. So now your, your bond market investors can choose between a very volatile and kind of manipulated mortgage market or mortgage-backed security market, or they could buy these safe corporate bonds and say, Walmart, I'll give you this money you just pay me some interest until the bond matures and then I get all my money back. So, you know, can't really blame them there, but you know, there's big corporations announced that are issued their bonds this week, Walmart, Target, Union Pacific, Johnson Controls, uh, I think Lowe's, Dollar General, it's quite a few, you know, so there's $10 billion worth of bonds that also came into the marketplace, making more supply, driving down those yields even further. So, it's probably going to get worse from now between the actual Fed meeting where they announced their rate hike, which is September 21st, I believe. We're going to see rates probably continue to go up a little bit more. I think we'll get a rebound here this week because every time it seems like they shoot up real fast, there's kind of like a whipsaw effect and they come back down. And um, so I think we'll see a rebound this week and maybe towards the end and then they'll probably slowly go back up. But it's going to be up and down for a while, at least until that rate hike comes. And then... Even if it's high, you know, that three quarter percent rate hike, after that's done and it's like people know there's like a little bit more sense of security, you're probably going to see rates start to come back down. So, um, you know, housing market prices are, are, you know, a lot of price reductions, prices are kind of going down. So always opportunity, but, um, you know, it just kind of depends on your situation. Everyone's different. And um, yeah, so that's it.